exciting night. You are the champion tonight. I looked up the word today, and you know what it means? Tell me. To battle for others. Honor. And I thought about that today, and I said, as a woman of faith, I do battle a lot. And so I am a champion. We all are, because we battle through the day, and we're better, not bitter, for our experience, right? That's my goal, right? So the professional stuff is sparkly and yay. <laughs> but the hard part is getting on a plane tomorrow, flying four hours to do one show. Because mm. your body's tired, but the spirit is strong. Yeah. Something that you've said before that I love is that you're somewhere between hell and hallelujah. Yep. And that hit me. And I think anybody who has experienced loss, it hits them too. Yep. How, how has I that know. given you strength these last because many months? Because I have months? a choice. My peace begins with me. My peace begins with me. I have a choice. And that's where I'm at in my life right now. As a grandmother, as a wife, I just think about what can I do to not end up being a real butthole <laughs> what can I do to be kind in spite of my circumstance? Oh, but you know what? You're about to go back on tour. I mean, you've been on tour, right? You've been honoring your mother and all of the things that you ladies did together. But you're about to go on tour for your own music. And I got to tell you, yes. the early 90s stuff, golly. 90s country, baby. Oh, you love a 90s country. <laughs> and to see it all come together tonight is really exciting. Yeah. You know what? There's a whole generation of people that call me Miss Judd. <laughs> And so I feel like the prom mom watching all the kids dance because I'm older, Did right? Did you leave room for the Holy Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I just feel like, you know what, man, I'm still here. I'm still here by the grace of God. And I have a place mm -hmm. and I'm honored because country music has changed so yes. much. Yes. I want to hear from you what you think has changed. Like, I mean, there's, you could go on probably for an hour. But well, I just did the voice. I was a mentor because I didn't want to be a judge. And I said, there's so much entitlement in the world, especially the younger kids, because they're not used to working and earning it. Don't get me started. I love them. And I want to say what my mother told me, quit your bitching and go to work. And uh, <laughs> so I get really frustrated because I think there's a lot of entitlement. Yeah. You know, you got to earn it, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you have, I, this is the last thing I'll tell you, I'll let you go down the carpet. After you and I met, uh, God, this was back in December, and right. I interviewed you for something else, right. and I watched you perform, and I said, when I went home, and my husband was like, how did it go? Tell me about Winona. I said, Winona is like old time, like the classic performers, the way that people don't do it the way you do it anymore. They just don't. And oh. it was clear to me that you learned from the yeah. greats. You learn from the greats, the people who had to know how to run a crowd, not just release music and Tammy be done. Why not Wynette did not stand there and tap the mic and fidget. She stood up there and she just went, I am woman. And you're like, oh my God. Yeah, these women just get up there and like Aretha, she didn't have gimmicks. She mm -hmm. got up there and used her voice. Mm -hmm. So I learned from the best, yeah. you know, Loretta Lynn, all the signature stylists. Yeah that I don't know if we have as many anymore. It's hard to there's know you. who's who. There, there's you, and then there's not many others. Right, but I just think about the women that I learned from before me. Yeah. A whole nother breed. I love that. Why not? Thank you You're for welcome, your time. Have so much fun tonight, and congratulations. Thank you. It's been a good day. Good. It's been a good day. I love day. it.